<laughs> hey everyone, and welcome to the Yarn Journey Crochet Podcast. My name is Holly. I am the host. Welcome to episode 33. This is a podcast about crocheting, knitting, um, yarn that I'm hoarding, and occasionally some other crafts. You can find me on Ravelry as Holly Nicole 1316. You can also find me on Instagram Instagram as uh, Yarn Journey Crochet, which is the podcast slash personal channel or personal account. Um, then I have a business account, which is Sleepy Fox Yarn Co., which is my yarn dyeing company that I have recently started. Um, so if you're interested, check those out. And I believe that is it for social media because I'm a millennial who doesn't like social media, apparently. <laughs> um, so we will jump right into things. I do not have a finished object, and I have to say, I didn't do any crochet. Um, I did work on my Supernatural blanket, which I think I did two rows on. Which, wait, time out, time out. Um, so I did pick the winners for the Supernatural cow. Whoa. And I, um, I picked the winners. I have messaged them, they have messaged me back. They are getting them, and I'm going to be putting them in the mail on Friday, which unfortunately they are packed up, but I can show the yarn, and if you want to see the bags that they were going to be getting, I believe that was on one or two podcasts ago. Can you stop doing that? You're get, you're shaking the table. Um, but you will see the yarn that they are receiving, which is, I love them. Um, but the winners of the... Supernatural Cow 2019 that I was co-hosting with Crochet Luna, which she has already pulled her winners as well. Um, so my winner was my two winners because I, ah, 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 do not blow chalk into his eyes. Don't throw it at him, please. Okay. Would you like chalk blown into your eye? No. No, I didn't think so. So the winners for my side of the cow, I was hosting the FO thread, was Angership. Um, that's her Ravelry name. And then Maya Justina, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I could be totally wrong, but I have contacted them and they will be getting their prizes, um, which we did get two bags donated from the Naughty Knitting Sacks who is Catherine. You can check her out on Instagram. I'll link that below. Um, and she made two huge, amazing Supernatural inspired bags. So they, it was awesome. It was pretty much similar to this one. This is my bag that I bought from her. Um, it's pretty much this fabric, but they were massive. So they are definitely big project bags. Um, and one of them will be receiving the Sam colorway, which is actually showing up really well today. And then the other one is the Dean colorway. Oh, yes. boop, boop. Um, which I will talk more about those in detail later. Um, so that is what they won. A couple of stitch markers and some tea got thrown in as well. Um, and those will be going out on Friday, which today is Wednesday. Normally I film my podcast on Sundays, but I figured today is beautiful outside, so I would do it now. I am losing light, so I may end up in the dark soon. I am just drinking water today. I need to stay hydrated. We were out in the sun for park day today. Okay, sorry. I am so sidetracked. Um... Did not crochet very much. I did like two rows on my Supernatural blanket, which I need to get back into. It's just, it's so intensive because you have to keep going back to the chart and counting. And sometimes you just want something that's super easy to make and you don't have to think about it or count and just go, 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 go. Which is how I've been feeling lately. I haven't wanted to count. I haven't been wanting to do color changes. Nothing labor intensive to the point of actually using my brain. So 
the first, um, hey, 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 can you not hit the wall? Hey, Lily. Um, where's the cat? Uh, down there, hiding. He's down here hiding. Okay. Um, I will talk about the cat later. Um, so the first thing I started is a knitted, um, scarf this is in the Karen kindness I don't remember the colorway of course I lost the ball band because I had to rip it out um I started doing the wheat by tin can knits or it's just called wheat um and the way it's constructed I just I wasn't sure if I liked it I asked questions on Instagram got some feedback and they said it would block out um, only issue is my son then decided, can you please stop? Stop. Thank you. My son decided to pull the needles out on me and I had to start all over because I don't know how to pick up stitches in ribbing, which there was some in that pattern. Hopefully I didn't give anything away. Um, but I am really not liking the way it's coming up. It's color pulling in a way that could be Argyle, but I feel like if I wanted a color pool scarf, then I'll just crochet it. So this has actually been on my needles for two and a half, three weeks. And it's been sitting like this since, because I am not sure what I want to do with it. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not sure I like it. Can you get out of there? So that has been on hold. Um, then, Mom, what? Get out. I'll get you the ball in a minute. Then I started something for me. I have seen this. Um, I've known about this pattern since it came out because I'm a big fan of um, Megan from the Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits podcast, who also is Bad Wolf Girl Studios, which is the yarn company, and this is the pattern. It's called Sea Glass. My Mom, son wrote all over it. What? Okay, don't color on the screen, please. No, I'm pixie dust. No pixie dust. Um, it's called Sea Glass, and Emma. It's called the Sea Glass Top, and it's basically just a tank with a little bit of lace detailing on the bottom, which is more like. Um, let me see if I can find the picture. So like I said, my son drew all over it. So it's been hard to see. So I don't know if you guys can see, but like right there, there's like a little bit of detailing on the bottom. And it's basically just a big, flowy racerback tank top, um, which is honestly my favorite kind to wear. And... I just really want a knitted tank top. Um, so I started that. Um, started that. Let's see. So if I can find it. I started on, so you start working on the back piece first, and then you pull, go the straps, and then you start making the top of the top. <laughs> um, so, I, I can't remember. I think this, no, no, no. This is the top back. So, basically, it's like that, which is, you can't see. Um, but I got all the way to the point where the straps came over. I made the chest part. I was connecting the center under the arm. And I didn't do a gauge swatch, which I should have, but I didn't. And, um, well, long story short, it ended up being ginormous. Um, so I ended up ripping back everything to start over. Um, so if you can see the colorway, actually you can see it pretty well. Um, it's like purples, blacks, like this really dark navy wine color. Colin, no, Colin, Colin. Stop. Um, so this is actually, let me see if 
I have the tag. I know I have the tag somewhere. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the Knit Pick Stroll Fingering in Raven Tonal. Um, it is 462 yards per 100 grams, 75.25. Um, it is super wash, so I can wash this. Now, whether or not I do will be another topic. Um, but surprisingly for being fingering weight yarn, it works up really quickly. Very, very quickly. Um, because you're using a four millimeter needle. So, okay. Okay. How many times are I going to ask you to stop before I make you go inside? Um, so I started that, got a little discouraged when I had to rip everything back, and that one's been put on hold. So I was just like, you know what? I need something that I've started that I need to finish um, that has been a languishing whip. And... I decided to pick up my socks, my Halloween socks, which I'm calling this is Halloween sock because that is the colorway. So when you guys saw it last, I was about here and now I have a full sock, which I have worn. <laughs> I, the day I finished it, I wore one sock while knitting the second one. I was just like, you know what? I want to wear my sock. This is the first sock. I have knitted that actually fits. So there you go. You can see out of the colorway. So this color is This is Halloween by well, Bad Wolf Girl Studios. Um, the orange is Pumpkin by Knit Picks. It's, I believe it's the stroll fingering again. Let me see. Mommy, I'm so excited for Halloween for a long time. Yeah, Halloween's still a long time away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's the Knit Picks um, Stroll Fingering in Pumpkin. Shh. Um, so, this is how much I have left. So, still quite a bit because I'm making shorties. Um, and so, I finished one sock. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so close to starting the ribbing. I am just, I am pushing through this sock. So I've put in my waist yarn to do my afterthought heel. I have the whole foot and I'm working on the um, leg now, which is only 21 rows. So that'll go pretty quick. And then 20 rows of ribbing, of one by one ribbing. And then I just have to put in the heel and I am done. I am done and I will have my first pair of hand knitted socks that actually fit. And let me tell you, I know I told myself um, when I first learned about hand dyed yarn, I was like, I cannot see myself wearing $30 yarn on my feet. I just can't. It doesn't make sense to me, blah, 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 blah. And everyone told me once you go to hand knitted socks, you don't go back. It is amazing. They are awesome. And it is totally worth using hand dyed yarn on your feet for socks. And I have to tell you, they are right. Oh my gosh, they are right. I put the sock on and I almost did not take it off all day. Like I was just like, nope, it is so comfortable. I am, I am in love. I love it. And I told my, my husband keeps telling me that he does not want socks. And I keep telling him now that I've worn it, I'm like, I'm going to make you a pair of socks, whether you like it or not, you're going to love it. And then you will want me to knit you socks all the time. And then it means I can buy more hand dyed yarn or at least knit picks like fingering, you know, like I'm excited. Mommy, I'm yeah. the Thank you. Okay. So I am so close to being done. Like I will stay up till I finish this if I have to, because I am so close to being done with the foot or with the leg that I just have to do the ribbing and the heel which those really don't take me all that long. I mean, the ribbing takes a while because it is one by one ribbing, but oh my gosh, I'm so close. Um, so I'm also using the Knit Pro Knitter's Pride Zings in uh, 2.25 millimeters. There's a yeah, size one, I believe. What happened here? Okay, that's just, I thought one stitch got all wonky and loose, but it's just got wrapped around. So I am super excited to finish these. And I mean, come on, that is, 
That colorway is beautiful. I love her speckled yarn. It is gorgeous. Um, so that is it. I mean, I've pretty much been working on those socks. And then the top Mom, the most. What? What is that? Ew. What is that? Tea? Go let him in the house. Tell him dad has some tell open the door. I don't know what is on his hand. Colin, go inside, go to dad. Nick, can you clean off uh, Colin's hand? I don't know what's on it, but it's pretty gross looking. Um, sorry. <laughs> My son gets his hands into all kinds of nasty stuff. I don't know what that was, but it was pretty gross. I mean, Lily could have been drooling and he just like wiped drool and was like, ugh. That's what it kind of looked like. Um, so shop update a little bit before we get into life stuff. Um, Shop's doing well. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I have three new colorways. Mom, well, dark. yes, I know. Um, I have technically two new colorways. Three, if you consider one was literally in the shop for like a day or two and then gone. And then I, at first, I wasn't going to re dye it. Let him out. Um, I wasn't going to re dye it because I couldn't figure out what I did to get the brown. Um, but I ordered more dye to get brown because I thought I, I bought some and I didn't. Um, so <clears throat> we'll just go with the ones that we started with. So here is the Dean colorway, which now is looking a little bit. So it has this like nice, deep, olive -y forest green. Um, it actually has two types of blue. There's one that's a little bit brighter. Um, so this is like the darker blue. And then I would say down here is the lighter. And there are speckles of black, brown. So this is very much reminiscent of Dean in the, I would say some of the more I don't want I don't want to say recent because they're not recent, but they were definitely after um, after season four, for sure. He typically tended to wear this army olivey green jacket, and I always see him as someone that wore plaid, but it was always like a white, gray, black plaid, and he has green eyes. And he has brown hair. So that is very much what I was trying to get here. Was what, what, what? Okay. So that is very much what I was trying to get here. His hair. Um, no. Dean has blue eyes. Not green. My bad. Which is why we have two different shades of blue. There's a darker one for like his jeans. A lighter one for his eyes. Um, the green, black, and white are for like his plaid shirt. Yeah, you see the moon? Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the Dean colorway. I have it on my 7525 base, which is a four ply. Look. Can you please stop? Colin, please stop. It is um, 400 and... I don't care if there's a bug. Leave it alone. 463 yards per 100 grams so you get a lot of yarn for this base which I love and is why I put it on this base because I want you guys to have as much of it as possible um and then this next one which is a lot more saturated and this is the Sam colorway also the same base for ply fingering 7525 600 463 yards um so we have the brown for his hair, um, blue for his eyes, or is it green? No, oh my God. No, his, his is green. He has the green eyes. Oh my God. So there's green. And then I always think, when I think of Sam, I think of red and black plaid. That's just me. And I've noticed him wearing a lot more red in the newer seasons than in the older seasons. Get Dean, down. What Dean has? Do Dean has green eyes? Dean has blue blue eyes. So this one is a, a lot more saturated in color. So 
you know, there's the blue of his jeans. Colin! There is the green for his eyes, the red shirt with lots of black speckles in there all over, brown hair, blue jeans. That is just how I see my boys. Although I am a Sam girl, but I love them both equally. I mean, not equally. Sam a little more. But I love them both. They are my favorite. So these are in the shop. I only have one skein. This is the only skein of Sam that I have because... I miscalculated how much you were. Yeah. What? The moon? Yeah. Moon? Yeah, moon. Okay. Like moon. Yes, like moon. Um, so I have two skeins of Dean. This is the only skein of Sam, which I kind of want to hoard to myself, but I'm not going to. So those will probably, those are up in the shop as of now. I put them up yesterday. Um, the other one that I was telling you about, which was the brown, that I was having issues with is the like, okay, shh, which is the cherry blossom colorway which is blowing out really bad like Ooh, it's pretty it is very pretty it is this really nice pink um with a dark pink speckle which you can see better on the white that dark pink speckles all over the white and the light pink and then it has this I would say almost like a tree bark brown. Like that's what it looks like to me is like tree bark. Um, before it was more of a reddish chestnutty brown and I couldn't figure out what I did because I did not write down how much I used of what color. What? Yes, the moon. Um, I pretty much put down like three or four different colors that I used to get that brown. So I just, what Colin? Yes, the moon. Can you get down, please? Um, what? No down. Um, so I have, I believe, two in the shop right now. Um, this is on my 80. Stop it, please. You guys are purposely making noise, and if you don't stop, you're going to go inside. Um, this is on my 80-20 base. This is 400 yards per 100 grams. It is a two-ply fingering. Um, so that is the last. Okay, both of you guys go inside, please. I'm almost done. Please go inside. Can stop it? Holly. Um, this is so... Next update when it comes to the shop is a little exciting because I almost wasn't going to do this, but I, I kind of got excited and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I am so sorry. This is so shaky. If you get motion sick, I am so, so sorry. Um, so I decided that this year I will do advent calendars um, and I'm going to have two different types. Well, not two types, two yarn weights. Um, I am going to have a fingering weight, which you will get 24 mini skeins of fingering weight yarn and one whole fingering weight skein for the 25th day, whether whatever you celebrate. <laughs> um, and then we will also have a DK weight, DK weight version, 24 mini skeins, one full skein for the advent calendars. And I know a lot of people do themes and my theme, I guess, is like the quintessential Hallmark Christmas, I guess you can say. Like the Christmas we see plastered all over movies that is so beautiful and snow and lights and trees and just gorgeousness. Um, so I'm going very much traditional Christmas, but I'm hoping, I, love I know you do. Um, so I'm super excited about that because I feel like everyone does themes that are kind of related to Christmas, but then kind of not. Um, so I kind of wanted to do one that was like, okay, this is Christmas. This is what we're getting. Okay. And I think I froze. I am not sure. <laughs> the 
Um, it is open for pre-orders. My bad. It is open for pre-orders now. Um, we've already, I've already had someone buy two already. Um, so there are nine spots left for the fingering and nine spots left for the DK. Um, pre-orders will be up until August 1st and they will ship October 30th, which is a Wednesday. Um, so that is what's happening in the shop right now. Um, next is life stuff. So something big that happened. Where is the cat? Come here. So something big that happened. Oops, come here, Binks. Come here. Come here. Is we now have a kitty again. Um, this is Binks. He is a Siamese. We found him as a stray in the woods behind our house. Yes, we did. And um, we found him as a stray and I took him to the vet, got him all fi figured out, situated, shots, everything. And I also got a tick. Yes, Emma got a tick because we were in the woods. Um, come here. So he is a beautiful boy. Yes, you are. Um, so we ended up finding him in the woods behind our house and we took him to the vet. I would say the very next day, um, just because we do have Lily and we didn't want him to pass on anything to her if she had mange or worms. Um, so we wanted him to get completely checked to make sure there was nothing that was going to be passed to Lily. Um, then we found out because he's a stray, we had to wait 10 days, um, until we could technically take him home and he's ours. So he still came home with us, but he wasn't technically ours yet. They wouldn't allow us to vaccinate him or get flea preventatives. Um, they said, because we found him as a stray, we need to try and find the owner first. Well, we found two people that actually claim to be his owner. Huh. Can we see your beautiful face? He has yeah. blue eyes. He has blue eyes. He is a beautiful cat. Um, so I actually ended up finding two women that claimed him. One said he ran away two, three months ago. And then another person said lost this cat um, in August before the hurricane. And that's fine. Um, no, you're grounded from the phone. So he has been in the wild for quite some time. Um, so once I got that, we waited the 10 days. They both told me I could keep him. Um, one had already replaced him with another cat. Oh, yes, you're so cute. And then the second person said that they were moving. They couldn't take him and that we could keep him. So we kept him and named him Binks because, you know, I love, 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 love Hocus Pocus, and I've always wanted to name my cat Binks, and every cat... No, I want to name him Hocus Pocus. No, we're not going to name him Hocus Pocus. He's named after Binks from Hocus Pocus. So we have named him Binks because, yes, and I know everyone would say, well, that's a black cat name because he was a black cat but I don't care I think he's adorable and we love him and he is so sweet so um yes this is Binks this was a major update in our life no he's not so there's that um other than that, oh, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to tell you guys. Um, I actually sold a really good size amount of my yarn wholesale to a local yarn shop, um, which is called the Salty Sheep Yarn Shop, which is in Emma. Don't worry about what he's watching. You are not the video police, okay? Excuse me. Um, so I ended up making a big wholesale order to a yarn shop, which hopefully my yarn sells well. 
and she will be interested in purchasing more. Um, so, cat hair. <coughs> so yeah, that was something I would, <coughs> gosh, I can't, I was super excited about. Um, I went in and I brought my yarn and she was like, I'll take two of every color. And I was like, seriously, like I was so excited. And then as I got in my car, I literally screamed. I was so excited and happy. I screamed and I probably screamed every two minutes on the way home, which was a 25 minute drive. So <laughs> I was excited to say the least and just yeah i'm just super excited to see where this business takes me it is something that i've had passion for my other businesses that i've had in the past but this one i feel like i need to make work because at this point this it would be the third business that i've started which i know this business in the sphere that we're in is very oversaturated there are a lot of yarn dyers um, but I feel like there's a place for everyone and I feel like, I hope I have a place in my yarn world. Um, but the other ones like candles, I felt like it was very hard to, so I made, I used to make candles and that, that was a hard business to break into because most people want to smell them before they buy them. And it's very, very hard to break into that business if you haven't made yourself known or I don't know. I just feel like that business was very hard and I tried doing it for two and a half years and finally I was like, you know what? I'm not making any money. I've wasted more money putting into it than making I don't, don't whine at me. Um... Then, obviously, the patterns, which was money-making, but not necessarily in the best way possible. So, yeah. So, this one I'm super hoping that goes well because I really want this to work. And I want to have a business that I can rely on as an income. You know, I got two kids and bills. So... <laughs> So yeah, um, that's pretty much it that's been going on. Just busy with the shop, homeschooling Emma, which is going well. Slow, but well. Um, yeah, so I will let you guys go. I think this video has gone on long enough. I will see you guys when I see you. I'm not sure because my schedule has been so up in the air lately and so busy that I have not been able to keep a regular schedule. I'm hoping to get back on the two-week schedule um but as we've seen that has not happened yet so we will see and as summer comes hopefully i'll be inside more because <laughs> i hate summer um i hate the heat and i live in north carolina so hopefully i will get more knitting and crocheting done i need to start designing again i've been getting the itch back so we'll see see if it goes anywhere. I'm not sure. I have a cowl that I've been working on that I needed to purchase a different yarn for to finish that project, but it's been sitting for so long that I don't even remember what the heck I did. So, oh my gosh, I'm rambling again, but yes, <laughs> I will see you guys all later. Bye.